Hey friends, welcome to Chang Coaching, Rob here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install a water sprayer here in your bathroom, in the toilet, so you can use this while you're here in America. Check it out. So we've got this real, very affordable uh, sprayer off of Amazon, and I'm gonna send a link in it so that you guys can use it. But we're gonna show you how to install this, so let's take a few minutes, and be sure to check out our other video on Chang Coaching that we've made about toilet paper and how to use toilet paper in America, and the differences between toilet paper and water. And hopefully this little um, tutorial will show you how to get a sprayer so you don't have to use the trouble of toilet paper, which most Americans use, but you guys are mostly from Eastern cultures, coming to study work here. You're from different cultures, you're used to water. That's okay. This will help you guys out. Watch this instructions and it's real easy and you can do it in your apartment, in your home, and have a little more peace and comfort. All right, first, so we're gonna show you what you guys, what's in the box here, this toilet sprayer. So I've got the instructions. Be sure to follow those, they're really easy. Got some plumbing tape to help seal for leaks. I didn't have to use it on the first one, but it's there. There's the handle it'll be attached to, the nozzle, here's the hose. This is the most important part, the conversion kit. So this is where all the magic is going to happen. One thing the instructions recommend is to get a towel and a bowl just in case there's some leaking or some dripping water from when you detach. So one of the first things you do is find this little nozzle here, which is right here, and you're going to turn it and tighten it and turn it off. So that turns off the water flow from the toilet. After that, we flush the toilet a couple of times. And that's gonna get all the water out of the tank. So make sure you do that a couple of times and get all the water out of the tank, out of the piping. All right, so here's the water intake hose that's connected to the toilet tank. You should just be able to twist this off. Gently unscrew it with your hands. If it's real tight, you can get some pliers. And then this is where the leaking might start happening. So there's just a little water that comes out of the pipe. It's going to drip there in the bowl and on the towel. No problem. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this piece here, this converter piece. You want to make sure that the O-ring, this little black piece, is in there. Then you start screwing this on. And then you get the hose right here, and then connect that back onto this converter. There we go, now it's going. This will be the toggle right here for the sprayer, and this is where we're going to connect the sprayer hose. So now we're going to get the hose out here. And the nozzle. It's gonna come with some extra washers, save those just in case. It's got these little covers on the hose. You can just screw those out. Make sure the washers are still in there. Screw those safety covers out. Double check, make sure the washers are in there. Check. Attach the hose here. Nice and snug. Now one thing that I like to do is twist it. That way you've got the toggle on this side and the hose is kind of tucked back behind. So twist it around and then re-tighten it. Now that the hose is attached down to the converter piece, make sure the washer again is inside there, the black uh, rubber O-ring there, and then you twist on the nozzle. Voila, water's still off. There's a couple options. You can actually hook this to the side of the um, toilet basin, or if you want, you can drill it into the wall, depending where you want the handle. So we'll show you a couple options here. For hooking it to the side, you just move it a little bit over. Take that and just, you can stick it there behind the handle. And voila. So that's a very simple way to do it. You can do it on the other side as well, but it doesn't require any tools. 
for doing it in the wall first, there's this little screw back here that you have to um, take out. So just get a screwdriver. Take this out, get rid of the hook. So the hook and screw are off, you just got the handle now. Then you take the screws and anchors out of the package. So first I drill a pilot hole and then I'll tap these little anchors in and then followed by the screws. So first we have to mark here. So you put it where you want it. So got the holes marked. Need a little bit bigger. So this is just drywall, so that's why you have to put the anchors in. Um, otherwise, regular screws don't do a very good job. So you stick those anchors in. Now once you got the anchors in the wall, get your screws, your holder, you can use a screwdriver and put them in. Then mount your sprayer. Ta da! Got the sprayer mounted, got the hose. Next thing is so that's the lever for on and off. So we turn the water on. Toilet water is on, and then you can toggle, and the spray works. There you go. And that, my friends, is the not so hard way to install a water sprayer into your own bathroom, into your own toilet. If you prefer that over toilet paper, go for it. Takes 10, 15, 20 minutes top. Just get a friend. Most of them learning really tools at all and you can make it happen. So enjoy. And here's a little hack to help you enjoy America a little better. Good luck. We'll put a link in the description below um, if you want to check out this product or other similar ones. And yeah, if this video is helpful, give it a big like, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Chai and Coaching. We love helping international students and other people be here successful in America. And connect with us online, continue the conversation. And we'll see you guys next time at Chine Coaching. Thanks so much.